Welcome back to Trailer Trash. You're a moron. Pardon? Um, you are fat, and your uh, your wife is ugly. Wait, what is this? Hey, hey, come on. Oh, look, I'm just I'm just studying up for this week's movie, How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. So I got the book that the movie's based on, but I, I, don't know, I just don't think I'm getting it. Hey, man, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest here. You don't need this. You got everything you need to to lose friends and alienate people here and here and here. Really? Yeah. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Please delete my number from your phone. Yes! We'll see you in two minutes, 29 seconds. <clears throat> Fucking asshole. Since childhood, Sydney Young has dreamed of the glamorous life. My society, Hollywood celebrities. Celebrity. You take out your breasts, your celebrity. I think it probably depends on the breasts. Until the day he got a call that changed everything. Sydney Young. Sydney. I want you to come work for me at Sharp's Magazine in New York. This is your shot. This magazine, nation's window into high society. I work for a little periodical you might have heard of, Sharp's Magazine. This is a library card. Ms. Olsen, would you find our new rookie something to do? From MGM Pictures. So you're an actress. I would definitely vote for you for best supporting dress. I'm sorry, I just, I can't really understand your accent. This is New York, Sydney. Women only date men who are successful. I'm gonna be successful. And tall. Based on the true story of a real idiot. I don't know the meaning of the word fear. I'm sure there are many words you don't know the meaning of. He's out of line. So, the hamster thing that you play in the film. It's a chipmunk. Whatever. Is that gay? He's out of touch. Second question. Are you gay? And he's out of control. Wow! I should record this. Come on, girls. Let's go see Mr. Maddox. My God! This is terrible! I didn't know there was a Take Our Daughters to Work Day. Shut up. This fall, everybody thinks I'm an idiot. It works. There's something very damaged about you. <laughs> comes a story of a man who worked his way to the bottom and kept on going. Simon Pegg, Kirsten Dunst, Megan Fox, and Jeff Bridges. Can I leave Cuba here? He doesn't like Italian food. Hello, Cuba. You and me are gonna be pow. Would you like a little play? Bitch! <laughs> How to lose friends. Bro, Cuba. Where is he now? <laughs> and alienate people. Which leg did you hurt? This one. Ow! God! How to Lose Friends and Alienate People is the story of an English loser no one knows who becomes an English loser that everyone hates. You can't even get out of bed without causing well over $1,500 worth of property damage. In the span of a few short scenes, he pisses off the Big Lebowski and gets assigned a babysitter for calling a clearly gay dude gay to his face. Seriously, you made a movie about chipmunks. You have to expect people to wonder if you're a bit on the flaming side. Lebowski even gets mad that a couple of little girls saw a stripper. Why? Yeah, why? I mean, look, if little girls minds don't get traumatized early, then we would have a world without strippers, call girls, and porn stars. Is that the kind of world you want to leave for your children? Especially the man children? Yeah. Chegg's aforementioned babysitter is played by Kirsten Dunst, who instantaneously hates him. The reason for this hatred is a mystery. Or is it? Mikey, hit him with our theory. You see, chicks always hate you at first because they realize that, like it or not, they'll eventually need your wiener to make a baby. But that violates their idea of fierce self-sufficiency. Yeah, look, ladies, the sooner you warm up to the idea of my wiener being inside of you, the sooner you can stop crying when we have sex. But then, just when your penis is about to jump off and scramble out of the theater for fear that there will be no hot action, Megan Fox is here. Megan Fox, the hell's a crazy chick, and we at Trailer Trash are all about hell's a crazy chick. Seriously, she's one of those girls that in bed, you might be like, look baby, I am into kinky stuff, but you seriously might want to talk to a professional. Fingers don't go there. It's the part she was born to play. Yeah, I just hope that they can take out the tattoo of Brian Austin Green's face on her hoo-ha in post. Please. I like all the stars involved, even Kirsten Dunst, who I'm still bitter at for landing the role of Mary Jane Watson. That character is supposed to be stripper hot, not kinda cute girl with a red dye job hot. 
I also like Simon Pegg, but I prefer him when he's working with his English Shaun of the Dead Hot Fuzz crew. And this and Run Fat Boy Run just don't look up to par. I regrettably give this movie one run down. Yeah, this one's a real condom stretcher for me. I mean, I'll do it, but I'm a bit nervous about it. I mean, it really depends on how horny I am for a movie that particular weekend. If I'm getting it good from all angles, and if there are a lot of good movies out, then no dice. But if I've hit a movie dry spell, sure. Why not? I'll hit that. It'd be better than staying home. You deleted my number from your phone, right? One room up, baby. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, it's like you wearing cologne? I wish I wasn't. Smells good. Uh -huh.